Hello everyone, welcome to the second video of uh, edX Cell IEL Physics Unit 1, June 2017. In this video, uh, I will give you model answer from question number 11. So let's uh, start. It's question number 11. The rate of flow of blood through arteries in the human body depends on viscosity of the blood. A sketch on the axis below, a possible graph to show how the rate of flow of the blood varies with the viscosity. So here we have a rate of flow on the y-axis and viscosity on the x-axis. So viscosity is basically resistance in flow. That means increasing viscosity means resistance in the flow is increasing. So rate of flow is decreased. So if viscosity, sorry for my writing, if viscosity is increased, then rate of flow is decreased. So they are inversely related. So we can expect a graph of inversely related. Let's see the second part. Second part says when the temperature of the body is reduced, the heart has to do more work in order to pump uh, blood through the arteries in terms of viscosity explain why so we need to see the relation between temperature and viscosity and then due to viscosity we need to see the work done. Okay. So, if temperature is decreased, so what happened with the viscosity? Decrease in the temperature causes viscosity to increase. That means the rate of flow decreased. So heart has to do more work. More work in order to pump uh, the the blood in the arteries because the re because of the resistive force. So we can combine all these points like this. So you can read the answer. It's just a model answer. You can just rephrase in your own words. So viscosity is the resistance in the flow and inversely proportional to the temperature. That is temperature decreases, the viscosity increases, thus rate of flow decreases. Uh, the heart has to do more work against the resistive force. Okay, let's see the next question. This is question number 12. And question 12 uh, is all about elastic potential energy, Hooke's law, and strain energy, stress strain. Let's see what, what this question says. Question 12 A simple catapult consists of a rubber strip connected to a two fixed point. As shown, it is used to launch a ball of mass M. This is the ball. When pulled back, the rubber strip extend, extends by delta x and has a tension t. When launched, the ball is given a velocity v. These are two fixed points. This is the rubber strip. Now, describe in terms of work done and energy transfer what happened immediately after the rubber strip is released to launch the ball. So, idea behind uh, uh, this question is we need to see the work done and then which is convert into elastic potential energy this is the short form that I generally uh, write EPE elastic potential energy 
so when we when we uh, extend the rubber strip so we need to do work to extend the rubber uh, that 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 work is uh, stored in the rubber strip as elastic potential energy at that moment this ball has epe the maximum epe when we release this uh, uh, ball this epe then 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 do some work on the ball and this epe then convert into kinetic energy most of the epe and some of the kinetic energy and uh, along with the kinetic energy we have some waste stage of waste stage of energy in the form of sound as well as heat okay so here uh, we can combine all these things like that you can see in order to extend the rubber work is done and this work is stored as an EP as the strip is released due to stored energy the strip does work on the ball when the ball leaves the strip this work converts to kinetic energy and some energy is also wasted in the form of sound and the thermal energy you just go through the answer if you have any query please post the comment and then I will try to give your answer okay here's the part B when the tension in the rubber strip is 3.5 Newton the energy stored is 0.11 joule calculate the extension of the rubber strip So we are given uh, energy stored and uh, the tension in the string. Energy stored. So energy stored is E equal half of F, which is in fact the tension, and delta X. This is extension, and we need to find the extension. So meaning delta X is equal to Twice of the energy divided by the tension. And if you put the number, so twice of 0.11 divided by 3.5 Newton. And the extension comes zero point zero six three meters. 0.06 meter. This is question number 13. Okay, so a student has two magnets A and B. Magnet A is smaller and weaker than magnet B. The weight of the magnet A is determined using a digital spring balance. Okay, and uh, the weight of the magnet B is determined by using a top pan balance as shown. This is top pan balance and this is a spring digital balance. This, these are the conditions. Now when magnet A is moved uh, to a position just above the magnet B, there is an attractive force between the two magnets and the reading on the two balances changes. Change. Okay, so magnet A and magnet B, these are the two magnets. Explain how the reading on the two balance will change. So for magnet A, we have a weight acting downward. So let's see. This is the magnet A. And for magnet A, we have a weight acting down. This is the original weight. In absence of magnet B, this weight would be sh showing in the digital spring balance. But in addition to the weight, we have attractive force downward 
and this red line is showing and I just show FM which is a magnetic force so overall because we have a two forces acting down that means the weight of this uh, the magnet is going to increase due to this additional component so reading of uh, digital spin balance is going to increase and for magnet B here we have a magnet B okay so weight is acting down uh, in the absence of magnet A we have some reading which is the original weight but when we arrange the magnet A like in this figure so we have attractive force in upward and this is all about uh, uh, Newton's third law that means the weight is decreased due to this magnetic force which is pulling this magnet upward so the reading in uh, digital top and balance is going to decrease so here uh, how we can write all these things as uh, this so you can see that attractive force between the two magnet magnet A is downward direction along with the weight the magnet force is also acting causing to increase on the digital spring balance. So as per N3, magnet B is attracted toward the magnet A, causing the reading to decrease in the weight. So reading in the top end balance is going to decrease. This is question number 14. And uh, we will uh, solve this question in the next video. So that's it. Thank you very much for watching this video. Have a nice time. Thank you.